Hey everyone, Farmer Min here. Welcome back to Sunshine Valley Farms. Well, I got the field done. Uh, actually, it turned out pretty good. I was uh, um, quite impressed with it. It looks it looks good. I think it's going to be a nice sized field. Um, if we go onto the, the map there, you can see right here. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, kind of follows that road. I don't know why it kind of spills over there, but it, of course, of course, the field's not on the road. But um, that's interesting how that does that. Um, yeah, so it's a it's a good size field. I mean, it's uh, comparable to with um, some of the other fields on the map. So I think that turned out pretty good. Um, now where I have to go, because I'm going to go, um, here I am, I'm going to go just to the north of the uh, pigs up there, uh, up in the good old fent here, and there's a little shortcut right from here, straight up here to this uh, other road, instead of having to go all the way around, that kind of makes it kind of handy, I mean it's not going to be a, a uh, big equipment uh, kind of road, but for this tractor and plow, it should work okay. And, you know, I found something interesting on this map, too, and I suppose uh, with council, it's, it would be almost pretty impossible, but, impossible, excuse me, but uh, it looks like there's a water outlet here. You know, it would have been. You know. I suppose we've had waterfalls, haven't we, on console maps? It almost looks like it kind of was. I thought that was kind of pretty cool. Oh, well. Back to work, I suppose. So this next one is... <laughs> is going to take me a little bit longer, I think. It's a little bit bigger. Um, but I think that'll work out pretty good. You get to... Uh, Two decent sized fields and two, um, you know, small, small, medium sized field. I'll just pull right in here, open the fence. Like I said, it's nice the map's got these big double gates on it, but this is it. This is the one I'm thinking about doing. Well, I am going to do it. Um, just right on the uh, north side here of the pig farm. Another example of this map and how much storage this map gives you. That you know, there's even plenty of room for uh, for placeables there as well. We'll just hop the fence here. Um, yeah, so I could do silo, pig food silo, if I wanted to, or just more visors for food. Got that little storage, the slurry manure, and the uh, piggy drop-off point is right here. So pretty cool. Little path all the way around it for feeding water. I like that area. So I gotta think about how I can get this thing started. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna zoom out. So it's kind of gonna be a A, uh, a decent size. Sh I mean, it's going to be a decent size field, but I'm the, uh, not too bad of a shape. So, I don't want to plow up the little dirt path there. I kind of like those. Well, I think we'll just go just like that. That's what I did the other field. I just, uh, you know, kept my plow on, and then when I got to the edge, I just made a nice big loop around it, and it worked out pretty good. It didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to take me. I'll have to look to see what time I started that, but it's, uh, I don't think too much time has gone by. What is it, 2.26? Yeah, I can't remember what time I started that at. So yeah, this will be a <laughs> this will be a big field. And I'll say the same thing I said last time that uh, boy, I need to 
I need the big butt and the big plow. But really, it wasn't too bad. You know what? Now I'm thinking about it. Maybe I'll just go around the outside here. And kind of get a feel for what we get. But this sure makes it easier. You know, especially when you don't have um, a lot of cash to spend instead of buying fields. You know, when maps give you this big fast open grass base you certainly don't need all that grass so you might as well uh, you might as well make use of it that's a straight Let's see if I can kind of stay on this little line right here tractor jib a plow combination works pretty good. Uh, I can't remember what that tractor was that had the trouble with the plow. I wonder if it wasn't the case tractor. One of the cases, I don't know, the Optima or the Mag... No, it wouldn't have been the Magnum. That's kind of big. It must have been that Optima. Case Optima. That I had on a map and had the jib a plow and you know, it worked good. It pulled. It had plenty of power, but when you lifted the plow up and it was driving across the field, it would just sink down into the dirt. You couldn't go anywhere. I, I shouldn't say it was a case. I, I guess I can't remember. Case New Holland. Case or it was either a case or a New Holland. But, oh, then I guess it could have been a massive. Yeah. I don't know. I do not know. This should be a pretty big field when I get out of it. And I'll take out a little of this dirt here too. That's okay. The dirt can't make you any money. It's the fields that make you the money. I'll leave a little space between the field and the fence. Field's big enough. We don't need to take every every square inch. I like to try to stay as in a straight line as I can, so the edge is not all all um, jagged like there. So when I get done, then I kind of go back and I kind of try to straighten it out. Makes it easier for when you go to plant that you don't have. Um, little gap here and there. But I'll try to fix that at the end. Yep. This one's going to take me a little bit longer than the other one. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get this one done by sunset. That's okay. That's okay. Well, it's Sunday... Sunday night, my neck of the woods, so Monday is always an interesting day because you wake up and you wonder if uh, if any new mods will come out. But I 
don't remember seeing anything on the uh, on the updated uh, testing list that um, that uh, really, really would intrigue me. You know, Skeleton Farms. You know, I've never seen that one on the uh, the testing list, and you know, I've thought that that has been submitted a long time ago. So I'm curious what the deal is on that one. That looks like a great map. That'll be fun. I can't wait to do that one. Little, ma it'll be a little map with uh, smaller equipment. I'm thinking the uh, the uh, Massey Ferguson pack, and the and who's it by escapes me. I should I should know that. Um, oh, I know Black Street Modding had one, and then the. Um, the other modder came out with those, and those are great. I love those. I, uh, let's see, I got one of those. I think what maps, oh, West Coast, my West Coast map, I've got uh, one of those Masseys. And the Old Stream Farm. I still have that map on my save file. I go back every once in a while, because you play these maps you know, a long time ago, and then when season came out, and I thought, ah, it'd be kind of fun to, uh, to go back and check out those maps, um, uh, with seasons, and then, uh, like the valley, no, the old stream farm, then when, um, that Rybot, Ryb, I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, Rybot Xylor, that uh, stump grinder thing when that came out, then I had to go back on the old stream farm and and um, take care of all those non-supported trees. Oh, I hate, I, I despise non-supported trees. I don't have the patience to use a chainsaw, I cut it down, and then chop it up in many pieces and throw the pieces in the wood chipper. I just I don't have the patience for that. I have the patience to sit here and plow this whole field but not doing that kind of logging. Um, but I found that when you're using that thing on those non-supported trees, uh, it could take a while. You gotta raise it way up, cut the trunk down, and then you slowly grind the stump down. But if you cut the tree down the chainsaw first, as low as you can get it, and then uh, as long as you just hit the end of it with that uh, xylor thing, the tree disappears instant, instantly. So then you just gotta grind the stump. Boy, was that easy after that. After I figured that out. But yeah, because that that map you got trees that right on the field edge and makes it difficult. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I think I'll. Uh, I will. I won't do any more fast forwarding, that kind of gets old, but uh, I'll just uh, check back with you after a while when I get this, uh, this field uh, a little more on the black side. So, we'll see you in a little bit. As the sun sets on Sunshine Valley Farm, I am coming to the end of this field. <laughs> this is taking me a lot longer than I uh, than I thought it was, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'll get her done here in just a little while, and probably have to skip the night and head into the morning to get the other two done. But I think uh, I. Uh, I think um, should have the other two done. Whoops, gotta make sure I got my plow on there. I think we should have the other two done by tomorrow night. They're not they're not as big as these uh, these first two were, but uh, I think we're sitting pretty good. And then we got a shop for a 
Shop for a cedar. I, uh, I don't think we need to go extravagantly big, but I'm certainly going to go bigger than three meter, um, especially with the size of these last two fields. But, uh, yeah. Tomorrow's forecast. Ah, just cloudy. So we got two days of um, rain-free days in the forecast. So that's a good sign. Um, I can check here real quick. Yeah. We're not even close to being able to plant anything yet. 39 degrees. So... Maybe tomorrow, well, tomorrow's high is 49.55, so maybe by Thursday, might be able to get some planting in. I don't know, maybe wheat or barley canola tomorrow if it gets to 41 degrees. But, yeah. So, it's all looking good. <laughs> right now, we are just a, whoops. I don't even mean, didn't mean to jump out of there. Uh, right now we are just basically a one man, one tractor operation here. So, we got a long ways to go yet. I'll tell you what, I'm going to finish this up uh, while I still can. And then um, probably uh, see you back in the morning. See you in a little bit. Well, it's 6.14 in the morning. I finally finished this field last night about 8 o'clock, I believe. Um, had to call a Uber. Had to get an Uber ride back to the farm and then back here this morning. But uh, I made her. Nice day today. Still uh, on the chilly side as far as soil temperatures are concerned. But um, if we go in here to the map, you can see that this up here is now a field. And I'm kind of surprised. I thought this field would end up bigger than uh, the first one. But, uh, yeah, all done. Of course, we'll have to fertilize it and then uh, get it ready for planting. But, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Two nice big fields. And it doesn't cost you a dime. A little bit of time, a little bit of back and forth. Kind of makes you wish that... Uh, we had uh, GPS on uh, on console, but uh, who knows? Maybe uh, FS19. I see that um, there were some pictures posted, a promo for FS19, so that's kind of exciting. But anyways, um, I think we're going to head back down here to one-ish, and we're going to take a look at that and maybe decide if we should do that or maybe re-examine... Uh, re-examine that plan, but uh, we'll jump into the tractor here and head down there. It's kind of a hike. One thing about this map is uh, lots of driving time. So yeah, there's the field. All nice and plowed. Looks pretty good. I think to get down there, we just can cut across this little path. Here and uh, yeah, I think we come down in past the uh, BGA, but with that water diversion thing, it can get a little uh, a little tricky on how you how you go about um, getting across it. I'm on the wrong side of the road. There's the first field we did. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice. I'm kind of surprised. I, I was expecting it to be uh, <laughs> to be a, a lot longer process than that. Now I think I want to go this way. Who knows? I could be getting completely lost here. What in the world are you doing, buddy? All right, yeah, you just take the whole road then, why don't you? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, that sounds a good idea. Yeah, right down the middle of the road. Perfect. Then I think we have to go this way across. 
Uh oh. I thought we went across the uh, the little water diversion here. Maybe up there at the BGA. But I have to be on that side of it. But third day of early spring. I will just cut through the livestock market. That's okay. Yeah, I guess the way I thought it was gonna go would be a little different, but we still got here. And then, uh, I gotta come through town a little bit. And then we take This way here. Uh oh. Well, that ain't gonna work. Hmm. Well, that kind of stinks. How else could I get across there? Ha! <laughs> I don't know if I can. Oh, I suppose I should have gone down, um, I guess I could have gone on the other side, that road back there. Well, we'll go down here and see if the other bridge is bigger. Otherwise, I'll have to kind of make a big loop around. I didn't think about that. That's the downfall of, um, I suppose I could just go across the railroad track. That would work. I'll tell you what. We are uh, having a little more fun with this map. We can do this. I did this a lot on, uh, on, uh, Who Dat, Who Dare, American Outback. I can't remember which one it was. Um, use the, use the railway a lot, but oh well. Pretend you didn't see that. Yeah, I should have came down that road there. Ah, uh, for next time. Yep, yeah, right here is what I was thinking. the fence. So yeah, I was thinking we'll maybe turn this one into a field. Yep. Well, we'll see how we get on. This is the one thing about seasons. Um, at times it can be just uh, slow. Other times it can be busy as all heck. And then a lot of the times it's kind of just doing the... Uh, the uh, same thing over and over again. I'll just start out here for now. I could probably creep into the edge a little bit, a little bit more as as I feel this in. But yeah. So two relatively large fields and two relatively uh, small, small, medium-sized fields. But. here left on this uh, this field and uh, then it'll be all plowed over worked out quite well you know this little jimp of plow you always say to yourself well I got to get the bigger one and got to get the bigger one but you know what this one has done a fine job <laughs> except for not, not being able to cross the, the bridge there having to drive you on the railroad tracks but uh, other than that it's worked out quite well um, you know, I think that's probably a uh, problem with that I have playing this game is that you always think that, oh, I got to get the biggest, got to get the biggest, but 
you know, in reality, um, sometimes the medium-sized, small stuff works just as good. It takes you a little bit longer, but that's that's the way it is in real life. You can only go as big as as the tractor can handle, and that you can afford. Quite simply. Yeah. There's that. Um, thinking, just drive down to the next one and take a look, and then, uh, and then we'll come up with the game plan. I, uh, I, um, maybe have some lights on here. I, uh, think that five fields would be plenty to start. I mean, I could just keep plowing away, but. Um, I can't get too overextended. Wouldn't be able to um, to handle it all in the seasons. But nine days seasons um, is extended out enough that I think it gives you uh, um, a fair chance to get everything done that that you want to do and uh, be able to expand a little bit. Let's see, was it right here? I thought it was right here. No, that's a field. Look at my map. Oh, I didn't go down far enough. Um, I have to turn around here. Like I said on my map tour, I, I don't think there's, there's not there is not traffic on every road. Um, only, uh, only kind of the main roads because you come down to these some of these side roads and you don't see traffic. Or is that it right there? Oh, that's it right there. Okay, I gotta find a way in there. Well, it can't be that way. Eventually, I will get used to the roads. Eventually. It was right here and... No, that's not it. I'm gonna blame it on the fog. That's it, I'm gonna blame it on the fog. Yeah, let's take a look at the map. Well, let's go to the other map. Hmm. Yep, there's that one. So that one worked out pretty good. And this one would be right in here. The only other options I got would be something bigger. Kind of almost like an S field there would be like. Um, these are maybe too small. You know, over by the farm. There really isn't anything over by the farm. I mean, a little spot there, you know, besides the outside of the fields. So I think that would be okay, just to, just to keep my game plan there. Um, I mean, you look at it, this is the same, you know, bigger than one. Right? The same size as five or six, probably. So this one should at least be at least the same size. So yeah, yeah, I think we'll just go for it, but yeah, we can at least get a start on it and then call her a video. Because there's that spot right across this um, waterway here that has all that storage in it. So eventually, uh, when the farm expands, I can 
Well, this one's kind of got a different um, field line to it. Uh, like I said, I can I can straighten that out when I get all done here. Just want to kind of keep the same distance between the the field I'm creating and the and the hedges. Seems to be okay. And after this is done, I suppose, well, we still got a fertilizing plow 28, too, the one that we start with. So I do have to get a fertilizer spreader. So, oh yeah, that's right, that other fence I can't put narrow tires on. Maybe I have to look at a different tractor, one that I can use for fertilizing and, and spraying without having to worry about tires we can look into that well I think I'll carry on here just for a little bit and then uh, we'll check back at my progress and that'll probably be the end of the video but uh, we'll just see in a little bit well, 1029 and the plowing continues. This is about as exciting as um, reading War and Peace. Um, it's been fun. Slow process, but in the end, it'll all work out. But I think we'll call her there for a, uh, a video. I'm just going to continue on this and finish this up and then... Uh, all we'll have left for plowing would be field 28, which we uh, start with in the beginning. And then it's on to planting. Well, fertilizing planting. But, uh, well, I hope you found the video entertaining. Maybe a little bit a little useful. If so, please give us a like. We'd appreciate that. And uh, if you haven't already done so, um, subscribe to the channel. Well, I'm Farmer Min from Sunshine Valley Farm. We'll see you next time, and uh, keep her between the ditches. So long.